Hey everybody, Dr. Chris, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine physician. And today, I'm gonna try the Activan workout. Permission to come aboard. Oh, what you say? Today we're gonna try the Jason Momoa Activan workout. We did the rock workout before. Which was more of a conventional workout with lots of weights. Jason Momoa kind of does a different thing. He is an avid climber, so he spends a lot of time doing climbing type of exercises, pulling and body weight kind of things. So we're gonna try to do that today, and we're gonna see uh, how that turns out. And although I don't know exactly what he did to prepare for Aquaman, I know that involved a lot of body weight training and a lot of functional exercises. We've looked up on a number of websites to see what type of training he does, and we're gonna to try to do a workout today that include many of the type of exercises that are routinely found in his training. Enough with the talking already, let's get to working out. So we're gonna do some simple body weight exercises to get warmed up and get the blood flowing. Jumping jacks. So because we're gonna be using our shoulders a lot, we wanna make sure that we get our shoulders warmed up and we start to get some movement and mobility going. So, some shoulder dislocates. You can use a broom handle, you can use a skipping rope or a towel. And as you get more and more warm, you can bring your hands closer Yeah, I think that's 10. And then to get our upper and lower bodies involved in this, let's do some, some crawling. That's a functional exercise. And since we're gonna do some Pulling, you can always do some hanging. And hanging is a great exercise for shoulder range of motion, flexibility, and developing scapular postural awareness. So that's good. And it's also a great exercise for working on grip strength. You can do a dead hang or an active hang or a combination of both. That was the worst pep talk ever. I've looked at uh, what he does and I've come up with a workout. Put it down here on the, on the whiteboard. Minimal equipment for most of this. We're gonna see how that works. To be honest, I don't know if I can do this stuff or not. Some of this I do, I'm familiar with. Some of this stuff, which I don't do a ton of, which is rope climbing, but we're gonna see how it works out and see if I can be a superhero. Okay. Can you swim? I can swim. Let's see. Not, not that show, well. Show us. Is that what Aquaman does? No, he, he kind of does this like super speed dolphin kind of thing. Like, like what? I don't think he does that. Really, really fast. Wow. Somehow I don't think he does that. Yeah. For the first set, we're going to do rope climbs, close position push-ups, and squat jumps. We'll try to do these relatively strictly. That's hard. And your bare feet, yikes. Okay, that might burn the crap out of your feet. But. I gotta remember how, how you do this when you use your feet. Did you get to the top? No, not really. I told you, you need shoes. My narrow, narrow. And narrow position push-ups. Like diamond, you know. Kind of, yeah. Uh, protracting. You're sagging, yeah, better. Better. Don't sag through the lower back. I'd rather you did five well. Are you talking to me? Yes! Yes! <sighs> no, you're talking to me. Are you, you talking to me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> How many was that? 
That was 10. Okay, good. Just Narrow grip push up? They're hard. Yeah. So better to do less, better than more shitty. I don't think Jason Momoa does perfect shoulder protracted. Well, he should. I'm trying to just get through the workout. I don't know how to do Right, right. Be. We're trying to represent good technique, anyways. I got a splinter. It's pretty jacked. From the rope? Wow. This is rope in my, my delicate skin. Oh my God. Hey, sorry, what? Squat jumps? Yeah, squat jumps. Bang. Jason Momoa is 15 years younger than me, too. He is, but there's 50 year olds that are jacked. You're jacked. You're pretty jacked. You're jacked. You are jacked. Hey, calm down. Get a hold of yourself. You're also a surgeon. You don't have as much time to do these things, but give me I'll give you that. Six months? Yeah. A free time? Yeah. Like Jason Momoa? Yeah. I'll be doing whatever he's doing. You take a break from being I a surgeon? I don't think he'll be able to be a surgeon in six months. I'm not sure which one to cut here. As you can see, we're not on a climbing team. So I don't have a climbing wall. So we had to come up with something that would kind of replicate climbing or descending from climbing and, you know, work on grip strength and pulling strength. You did the rope climb. Well, I know, but we're gonna do some else because he does lots of climbing. Okay. We're gonna do stall bar descent. This is a stall bar. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top. I'm gonna bend my legs, make sure I don't stretch and reach all the way to the ground. And I'm gonna work my way down, climbing down the stall bar. As slowly as you can. As slowly as I can. As slowly as I can. Five or six or until my knees touch the ground. Let's see where your legs are. Bend your knees. Okay, so you have a little distance. Okay, great. Almost there. Come on. Nice. Was that hard? Intermediate difficulty. I'll do it again. Mission Impossible workout. Since we're doing more body weight, do more push ups. So we did narrow and diamond push ups. Now we're gonna do some deficit push ups, give us a larger range of motion. People are always focusing on getting bigger, faster, stronger. Occasionally, they work on flexibility, but rarely do people work on mobility. Mobility is strength through a full range of motion. This exercise with the deficit push-ups, where we are bringing the chest into as wide an expansion as possible, and then on the reverse motion, bringing the scapula as far apart as possible, works a full Scapulo thoracic range of motion. Likewise, when we do the split squat here, we're working on developing as wide a range of motion around the hip and knees as possible. For these exercises, we're not trying to lift as much weight as possible. We are trying to apply strength to as much of that range as possible. Is it possible? All things are possible. We're gonna do another exercise, we're gonna do split squat, and we want to here, Bring the hamstring as close to the heel as possible. Under as much control as possible. Straighten the back leg. Mm -hmm. And straighten the back leg. Uh -huh. And say, and, and straighten the back leg. Straighten the back leg. So, the conventional wisdom is that your knees should never come in front of your toes and you shouldn't bend below 90 degrees. Just However, five is good. However, biomechanical studies have now shown that that does not substantially increase the pressures across the knee, although there are some um, increase in the retro patellar or behind the kneecap forces. Um, there's no significant increase of the forces across the rest of the knee. Yeah, I got it. By working this range of motion, you help to work on and maintain the forces that help the patella to track appropriately. 
across the trochlea or the groove or end of the, the femur. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Knees in front of the toes is okay, as long as the knee is over the middle to the outside aspect of your foot. The third set, sled push, sled pull, walking lunges. Let's get it. Walking lunges. You can do these with weight or without. Whoa, so going. How are you feeling, Dr. Chris? I'm feeling like a superhero. That was awesome. Like a swimming one? Aquaman. Let's see you swim. That's not sure. Just a front crawl. Why are you swimming up? Aquaman can swim in any direction. Bro! I'm so much of a superhero. Forget Aquaman. I'm Black Woman. You're what? I'm Black Woman. I'm Aquaman's distant, darker cousin. All right. Oh, what you say? So for our last set, we have full grip chinos. Can you even speak? And uh, hanging leg raises. It's all about quality reps. It's better to get less perfect reps than to try out bang out some more crappy reps because all you're doing is training crappy reps. I'm kind of tapped out, but we'll see what we got. Three is better than none, Black Woman. All right, that's it. Great, now hang, now hang. Switch your grip. Okay, five of these. One. Nice. Just to finish off, can you just do some of these? These are climbing. Thanks. Grand finale. Grand Jason Moore finale? Yep. You just hang, that would be even, that would be fine. Hanging from your fingers, oh my gosh. That's it. Oh my god, an asshole. We're done. The Jason Momoa Aquaman workout. You should make sure to take time after the workout to stretch the muscle groups in the areas that you have been working out during the workout. All that being said, the workout was pretty challenging. Although I don't know if it's exactly what he does, I think it did, did incorporate aspects of what he does. And even without weight, you can have a very challenging workout. And what I really like about this is that incorporates functional movement. So you train for what you do, you train for how you live. Incorporates full range exercises, it trains mobility. And, and strength through a full range of motion is important. Because after all, when you're outside, you slip on, this, on the ice. <laughs> okay, the ice doesn't care that you've only squatted to 90 degrees. The, the uh, ice doesn't care that you haven't practiced doing Hawaiian squats or split squats or whatever. If you train for the full range of motion, you'll be better off when awkward circumstances do arise. That's the end of the workout. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you are a returning member of the intern army, you know what to do. Share this video with a friend. And as always, that's been a word for Dr. Chris, not your everyday a black woman. How are you feeling? I'm feeling out freaking standing. It's a good black woman. You look good. You're just stretching out your muscles. Yes. Stretching out my groin. It's a good idea for that dolphin that we gotta do later on. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah.